Mmm, mmm, so good. There's no food waste here. Too tasty. But what about all this container waste? Glass bottle? Recyclable. Plastic cup? Recyclable. But what about this styrofoam bowl? Trash? Turns out it can be recycled. So why don't we? Stick around. Hey everybody, Sophia here. We recycle glass, paper, plastic, so why not styrofoam? Well, styrofoam is actually Dow Chemical's trademark name for extruded polystyrene, which is not used in consumer food products. Expanded polystyrene, or EPS for short, is what this container is made of. It's a close relative of Dow's material. EPS comes in a hardened state, like this disposable cutlery, or in a foamed state, like this coffee cup. So if it's made from plastic, can EPS be reused or recycled? The short answer? Yes. The long answer? No. Okay, both of those were short answers. Really though, it's just not economical. In fact, this March, New York banned all EPS food service products, joining about 70 other U.S. cities. Although contractors for the New York City Department of Sanitation argued that they could collect and recycle EPS, the city decided it wasn't cost effective. So why is this foam so expensive to recycle? Well, there are three main reasons. One, recyclers want their products clean, dry, and intact. Food service EPS is none of those things. The recycling facility would have to wash the foam within 24 hours of it going to the trash to prevent food residue from getting all putrid. Two, more than 95% of the final foam material is air. That makes it lightweight and great for insulating hot food and beverages. But what that also means is recyclers would have to cart all this space hogging material to their facilities only to squish it down to 1 40th of its original size. Which leads us to three. In order to make this operation cost effective, you need a lot of EPS. There's about 250 million tons of municipal solid waste in the US, and less than 1% of that is polystyrene, both in the hardened and foamed states. A huge chunk of polystyrene disappeared from our waste stream in 1990 when McDonald's stopped selling Big Macs in foam clamshells. Remember those? While some think New York City lost an opportunity to recycle more, others point out that the cost of separating EPS, shipping it, cleaning it, processing it, just wasn't worth the money and effort. So this is going to the garbage, and now I'm craving a Big Mac. And maybe a date with Mac Tonight. Look it up, kids. And likely adults, because Matt Davenport is the only one who remembers him. That's all the time we have for this episode of Speaking of Chemistry. Don't forget to check out the articles that inspired this episode by CNN's Alex Tulo and Cheryl Hogue. Hit that subscribe button for more chemistry capering and various antics. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.